What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Busher video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $1 million buy-in. They only gave us one quarter for $1 million. My goodness, I think it already fell. We got some quarters right there in the center. So that right there is the quarter. Let's see if we can get any more quarters out of that. Well, thank goodness it fell because that quarter I just put in there didn't do anything at all. So let's go see what we've won. And we'll get right back to pushing. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. We got nine quarters back on that first round. So let's see. What's the best way to do this? Yeah, one wrong move with the quarters and it could potentially cost you a lot of money. You can lose everything just like that. Nice. Come on, big push. Nice. There we go. That was a fabulous push. Let's see what we got. All right. So we're up to 15 quarters now. So let's see. Let's push on that left-hand side. Yeah, there's not really many quarters on the edge back there on the pusher, so it might be pretty difficult on this round, but we'll see. Come on, nice push. Give me something. Oh, yeah, and these two towers, the $10,000 chips just moved. Let's go see what we got, and we'll get right back to pushing. All right, so we got 11 quarters, so we're still staying in the game, but barely, so we're really, really going to need a nice push if we're going to get this thing to go today. Come on, big money. Oh, yeah, the humongous tower. On the pusher, that uh, $25,000 chip tower just moved forward tremendously. And I'd say that's maybe like a $7 million tower or something. So anyhow, let's go see how many quarters we won. We'll get right back to it. So we got a whole entire handful of quarters now. So let's put them over there on the right. Great big old tower of $25,000 chips. It's like right there about ready to go any moment now. Come on, we need a good push. Don't want to lose a million dollars today. Nice, there we go. That was a bunch of quarters we just got. Yeah, and that quarter uh, pyramid with all the $10,000 chips, the one on the right, it's about to go. I'm getting some quarters in the center of that. Nice, there we go. That right there is the push we needed. Oh yeah, it's doing real good. All right, so let's go collect those quarters. We'll get right back to pushing. Yeah, nice. Check this out. We got a whole entire boatload of quarters now. I think this is about like 300 of them or so. So let's put them over there on that right-hand side. Oh, yeah. Holy moly, nice. We got that ginormous tower of $25,000 chips to go. Wow, that is absolutely phenomenal. So I'm pretty certain, 99.9% .9 sure, we've already made like five or six or seven times our buy-in. So this is doing absolutely amazing. Yeah, that was a whole bunch of $25,000 chips. Honestly, can't believe we was able to buy into this game for only a million dollars considering how much stuff is in there. And... Let's see, I haven't even mentioned the blue shelves today. What do they got on the blue shelves? Looks like a whole bunch more uh, $10,000 chip towers. And uh, they got two ginormous money mystery bags, but those are the only mystery bags I'm seeing in there. The ones on the blue shelves. And they got like two enormous walls of gold in there. You see those? Those are super, super unique. And they got uh, two stacks of $100 bills on top of each one of them. So there's 40 grand in cash in there in total today, which is phenomenal. So let's see. I think our best bet for now is to push over there on that right side. Nice. That tower of $5,000 chips just fell straight into the payout chute. That was unexpected. My goodness. Can't believe this game is going as good as it is. All right. So let's go see how many quarters we've won. And we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, A and V coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So let's continue pushing on that right hand side. While there's a lot of weight and stuff over here on the left, because I would really, really like to try to get that humongous tower of a uh, ten thousand dollar chips. And if you've been keeping up with the videos over the past couple of years, and you've watched other coin pusher videos, uh, you'll you should know by now that the towers on the corners really, really struggle to crash down at times. So, uh, anyway, while there's a lot of uh, weight and stuff, there's a lot of other towers on the left. Now, let's just go ahead and try to push on this right-hand side and try to get this tower $10,000 chips. 
Yeah, it's a pretty tall tower if you ask me. It's like, I might be touching the glass up here at the top. And that could potentially uh, prevent that tower from collapsing down, so. Oh my goodness, Nuss, we got a bunch of gold right there in the center. Well, we was kind of depending on that to uh, jam up the center right here for us to get that tower on the right side a lot easier, but it is what it is. And we got so many quarters now, probably about uh, two or three thousand of them. I'd say possibly more than that. And there's still a whole bunch of quarters on this left side over here we gotta get. It's on top of that uh, 10,000 dollar chips and stuff. Yeah, and that other tower on the pusher, I'd say it's gonna go in a moment. Oh yeah, it's teetering back and forth, you see it? It's going back and forth back there. Oh yeah, jackpot, baby. Nice, that is what I'm talking about. Holy mackerel, that was a ton of $25,000 chips we just got right there. Awesome sauce right there, baby. Nice, we got the... Some of the quarters and the $10,000 chips on the left, I'm pretty sure. Wow, so now we just got to get the two humongous tall towers of $10,000 chips. Might as well go ahead and push across the whole field now. Because eventually, if we continue to play on the right-hand side, the left side is just going to start moving regardless. So we might as well just push everything. Nice, there we go. Look at all those $25,000 chips we're winning. Whole entire truckload of $25,000 chips. So yeah, I haven't counted up any of the money that I've won yet, but I can already tell you, I mean, we've already made a ginormous profit, obviously. There's a lot more than a million dollars in chips in there today, and we've already made like 10, 12 million, I'm just going to guess, so... There's still a whole bunch of stuff in there. There's tons of $10,000 chips. And there's two ginormous uh, dollar sign money mystery bags. Yeah, uh, question of the day. Do you all like the dollar sign money mystery bags better than the regular ones? Well, speaking of the regular mystery bags, haven't been seeing those in there like at all recently. So those are like very, very seldom you see them in there. Oh, nice. If we're lucky, we may be able to trick shot the mister back into the playing field that's back there on the right. You see that? Nice. There we go. The quarters are dragging it a little bit. Yeah, a lot of times you can do that with the towers that are hanging over the edge of the blue shelf like that. It's a very, very uh, pleasant experience whenever the tower falls down. And, I mean, it's really, really difficult to do. We've only been able to do that possibly five or six or seven times out of the three and a half years I've been doing this so pretty rare occurrence for that to happen but anyway it looks pretty promising that we're going to get that mystery bag to go into the play field So yeah, this is a tremendous amount of money we're gambling with today. A million dollars, it's a boatload of money. But that doesn't compare to the buy-in we did yesterday. My goodness, i got to tell you all about yesterday. I did a half a billion dollar buy-in. And uh, that video, if you want to watch that, that will appear at the very end of this video right here. Uh, it will be like a square icon. And it'll show the picture of the video. And it'll pop up. You can tap on that and it'll take you right to that video yesterday's video now that was a half a billion dollar buy-in so 500 million dollars and uh we made an absolute fortune on that game so go and check that out if you haven't already well after you're done watching this video of course i'd highly suggest uh staying here and seeing how much we could win today hopefully we can win a bunch and uh this is a little bit embarrassing to say, but uh, you know what, I might as well say it. So yesterday, like I said, we got a pretty big win for a half a billion dollar buy-in. 
and I guess I let that wind get to my head a little bit and I thought that if we do another half a billion dollar buy-in it would be the same outcome and we would get like tons of profit from it well guess what today before this game right here this is my second game of the day by the way uh, I did another half a billion dollar buy-in I was going to post that video but we'll continue talking about it uh, did that half a billion dollar buy-in they gave me let's see how many quarters was it oh I believe it was a hundred quarters for the half a billion dollar buy-in would you believe me if I say I put all 100 quarters in there and I only got one quarter back out of it? Wait, 100 quarters? What am I saying? It was like a 1,000 quarters. My goodness. Yeah, I play so many of these games, it's just hard to keep track with each and every one of them. But yeah, I put all 1,000 of those quarters in there. I'm pretty sure I put all 1,000 in there at once uh, while holding the skill stop button. And... We did not win anything but one quarterback, and then uh, from there on out, well after that happened my face turned uh, red as blood, and my face felt like it was on fire because I knew I'd lost half a billion dollars, and I might as well say this, uh, we profited around half a billion on uh, yesterday's half a billion dollar buy-in so we pretty much lost all the profit and yeah I was very what's the word I'm looking for it's very very upset that we'd lost all that money because we had already previously been on a pretty good profit streak for 2024 so far been getting lots of winning videos back to back to back and uh but yeah, so we need to make at least $500 million in profit on this game right here. We're going to uh, break even for the day, so it's going to be a challenge. But we've done made it past the worst part, uh, putting the one quarter in there and getting it to go. Matter of fact, at the very beginning of this game, I think we got like a lucky push. Uh, some of the quarters... It was on top of that uh, quarter tower. It was like right here in the center. Some of those quarters fell back and it gave us a pretty nice push. We got like nine quarters or something, whatever it was. But yeah, the quarter that I put in there after we got those nine quarters didn't do anything at all. Yeah, and uh, one of the employees earlier, whenever I bought in for a million dollars, they gave me that one quarter. Uh, she told me that there have been many people playing this game before I got here and still couldn't get it to go so I guess I was the lucky person and we got it to go but anyway we got just a handful of quarters left if that so let's put them in there over there on the right so uh, by the way the play field is now these towers are on the corners they're going to be very very difficult to win and uh I think whenever we return, after we go down there and collect the quarters, I'm going to go ahead and load this thing up with quarters back there, see if we can't get these towers. So anyhow, let's go round up the quarters real quick, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, A&B Coin Busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So uh, let's go ahead and load this thing up with quarters using the uh, skill stop button. Let's try to put at least, uh, let's see, how many quarters should we put in there? I'd say we should go for 1,000 quarters at once. What do y'all think? Seems like a brilliant idea to me. Now, like I said, we're going to have to get a lot of quarters stacked up behind these towers of $10,000 chips. We're going to see them make any progress anytime soon. So, uh, all right, so that was about 300-ish quarters at once, something around that. So, uh, anyway, something that I noticed while I was down there uh, getting that loot chute cleared out, uh, I had noticed that uh, we have not won the $5 chip today. It wasn't hidden in there with any of the other chips or nothing, and we didn't get any mystery bags. I don't think there was any mystery bags on the original play field you know what I mean like back there on the pusher or on the lower shelf the only two mystery bags that are in there is the 
one on the right and the one on the left over there so uh, this pretty much means that we're going to have to pay two times the original buy-in to get all the stuff that's on the blue shelves today and I don't think I've posted a video in probably a year or more where I had to pay to get the blue shelves cleared off so this is going to be a pretty different game I guess but that means that we'll have to pay two million to get the blue shelves cleared off and that will make three million dollar buy-in in total which I'm pretty certain it is worth it because there's so many $10,000 chip towers on the blue shelf. So anyhow, I was aiming for about 1,000 quarters at once and I just got distracted talking and I probably put around uh, 13, 1,400 quarters in there at once. So uh, let's let all that break free. It might take it a moment or two, or a minute or two, sorry. But, uh, I'm just hoping we can trick shot that mystery back into the play field, the one that's on the right. Well, the strings are in the play field pretty much. And pretty much half of it's in the play field, half of it is on the shelf still. And I'm sure the heaviest part of the mystery bag is on the shelf. That's where the valuables are at that are in there. And I know y'all probably can't see this, but there's four stacks of $100 bills. I think we mentioned those briefly earlier. They're on top of those uh, golden walls that they got in there. Uh, but you can't even see them. They don't even fit on the screen. The screen stops like, right up top here, and it just goes all the way across. So, uh, yeah, I don't even think you all can see the stacks of $100 bills. But they're in there. I'm sure y'all may have seen them in the thumbnail the picture for this video oh my goodness well we might be in trouble all the quarters back there got stuck we really really need the quarters to break free or else we're gonna have to call them back here when well, nice. they're breaking free right there in the center come on big push yeah I don't know do y'all think we'll be able to get that uh, mister bag on the right it's looking it looks Kinda of promising, kinda of not, so I don't know. Nice, the quarters are breaking free now, which is good. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put uh, 1,400 quarters in there at once anymore today. Come on, break free quarters. Nice, there they go. They broke free in the center and on the left. Nice, so we can push on that left hand side until that right hand side breaks free. Alright, so on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, let me know what you thought about this video today. Do you want to see more uh, limited quarter challenge games like this? Do you want to see more 1 quarter challenges, 5 quarter challenges, 10 quarter challenges? Just so let me know what videos you'd want to see down in the comments. Yeah, these 1 quarter challenges are super, super risky, but if you can get them to get going, they typically pay out much more than the like 50 quarter challenge games and stuff like that. The one quarter challenges obviously would have to have more rewards or else there'd be no point in doing a one quarter challenge, so. Yeah, just uh, let me know what you think about this uh, game today. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this one. Alright, so let's put a bunch of quarters in there at one time again, but let's try not to get them all uh, jammed up back there. And hopefully we can trick shot the mister back into the playing field also. That'd be spectacular. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing well today and having an incredible day. Uh, how's the weather where you all are at? Y'all been getting any snow? Has it been raining, thunderstorming? I know I ask y'all that pretty much every single day, but there's tons of new people watching each day, so just try to ask everybody the same questions and stuff. But yeah, where I'm at, it's pretty cloudy and raining outside, so definitely not much you can do out there. It's a good day to just uh, sit in the house, watch movies rest, take you a nap or something, I don't know. But 
but yeah, uh, I mean, I'd love to be doing that today, but like I said, uh, 2024, I'm going to try my very best not to miss a single video. Like, I'm going to try to post uh, 365 videos this year, if not more, so might be a day where I could do like two videos in one day. Don't know how that would work out because I haven't done that in like two or three years. So yeah, let me know if you'd want to see that sometime or another. But yeah, uh, what's everybody's favorite season? Just uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, me personally, my favorite season is like summertime, late spring, early summer. It's a good time of year for me. Seems like the videos always do a lot better then. There's more outdoor activities you can do. Just lots of outdoor stuff. Going to the swimming pool. All that fun stuff. Well, I must say these two towers of $10,000 chips are being super, super stubborn at the moment. So, uh, let's see. We got about one bowl of quarters left, or not one bowl, but one basket of quarters sitting on top of the machine. It's almost full, so uh, let's just finish out these quarters, and if uh, we don't get the two poker chip towers, I'll double check the payout chute and the ground just to see if that $5 chip is not down there somewhere, but if there's no sign of that $5 chip, then I'll... Uh, pay double the original buy-in. They'll put all the other stuff into the playing field for us. So, really, really hoping that a five-dollar chip is in there, though. It would save us two million dollars, which is a crazy amount of money. And I know a lot of people uh, like to complain down in the comments about me not doing a larger buy-ins, but. See, the thing is, you all are seeing like the best video of the day. You're not seeing all the games where I lose, like for example, the half a billion dollar buy-in earlier. And uh, but yeah, the, the larger buy-ins are very, very risky and they're expensive to play. And I can't afford to lose a lot of money like that every day. So, And most y'all like the one million dollar buy-ins anyway. Most people say they really enjoy them. But, uh, I mean, I'll do a larger buy-in occasionally, but most of the time you'll be seeing videos like this. Or quarter and cash-only games, those usually go super good also. But yeah, it seems like if I do larger buy-ins consistently, and I don't take a break with doing the larger buy-ins, a lot of people forget how valuable a $1 million buy-in is, or even a half a million dollar buy-in. Think about what you could do with uh, $500,000. You could uh, buy a really, really nice house, a nice car, and have money left over to spend on whatever you want. So, yeah, pretty much it just seems like people forget the value of the smaller buy-ins whenever I do the larger buy-ins consistently. Yeah, this is a very, very risky game today, so... Especially considering they only gave us one quarter for a million dollars. You have to be very, very brave to play a game like that. Alright, so we got a couple quarters left. Uh, that right there is the last of them. So let's go double check the loot chute. And if that $5 tip is not in there, uh, we'll go ahead and pay two times the buy-in. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So it's been about, I'm going to say an hour and 15 minutes since we last spoke. And uh, I went to get that loot chute cleared out and there was no sign of that $5 chip. So uh Anyway, I decided to take a break. I went to go get something to eat because I haven't really ate that much today and I was getting pretty hungry. Yeah, I've been playing this game right here probably about an hour and a half already. Or more than that, actually. Yeah, I went and got me a hamburger and a hot dog and some french fries. It was delicious. It's absolutely amazing. But anyhow, uh, getting back to the game... Uh, like I said, there was no sign of the $5 chip, so I went ahead and paid double the original buy-in. They took the two golden walls 
and all the $10,000 chip towers. They put all those into the playing field. And I'm uh, pretty sure you can see the four stacks of $100 bills now. They're back there on the pusher. So anyhow, that was a bunch of quarters I just put in there. Let's see what it does. Come on, big money, give me something. Oh yeah, nice, the $100 bills fell down. Fell down to the lower shelf. Yeah, and it looks like they took literally all the quarters off of the pusher back there. I guess they done that to level it out so they could put the two golden walls on there. Nice, there we go. That is going to help out big time for sure. Wow, whenever those uh, towers on the pusher fell, it demolished some of the towers that was like uh, on the corners. Oh yeah, nice, we got the Misker bag and we got another tower to go. My goodness. Wow, there's so much action going on right now. I can't keep up with everything. Anyway, let's get that loot chute cleared out. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So we got that loot chute all cleared out. Yeah, we got uh, all four of those stacks of $100 bills out of there. Yeah, those $100 bills can be uh, pretty inconvenient at times because they will uh, get stuck down there in the loot chute or they'll get stuck against the glass and they will prevent a lot of other stuff from falling down. So anyway, uh, looks like we got the majority of the towers that was on the uh, corners to fall down, which is a huge relief. We don't have to try to win those towers anymore. And if I'm not mistaken, they rearranged both of the towers that was on the corners whenever I paid two times original buy-in, which was very, very uh, generous of them. Nice, there we go. That was a wonderful push right there in the middle. Getting tons of gold bars today, that's for sure. I'd say uh, both of those uh, golden walls combined was probably over 100 ounces of gold. Maybe 110, 120, 130 ounces of gold, possibly. Let me know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Oh yeah, that was a good push right there. Also, it's doing fabulous today. So it looks like there's only uh, one tower of uh, ten thousand dollar chips remaining on that left hand side, which that might be pretty difficult to win. Who knows? That's why we're going to go ahead and load this thing up with quarters. So uh, anyway, we did lose a whole bunch of stuff to the blue shelves, which is pretty unfortunate. But uh, if there's any special chips hidden inside those Mr. Bags, and those could potentially come with a free reset. And we don't have as many quarters now as we did a while ago, so... Hopefully there's some $1 chips in the mystery bags. That'd be pretty sweet. And it'd also be nice to get the $10 chip, the $50 chip, or that $5,000 slash $10,000 chip. That'd be super, super nice. So that $5,000 slash $10,000 chip, that would be worth, uh, let's see, one or more free towers made out of five and $10,000 chips. And uh, the $10 chip, we'd get to cash that in. They'd let me spin a wheel. And that wheel that we'd get a spin has all different types of chip values on there. And whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'd build somewhere in the machine. And uh, that $50 chip, if we win that, we'll get to cash that in the, at the very end of the game. And uh, they'll take anything that's fallen down the side slots on the left and the right, and they'll put it back into the play field. You can kind of see the side slots a little bit. They're like on the left and the right corner there, so... Uh, Anyway, if you don't know this, anything that falls down through there, that money goes to the owner. I don't get a win or keep any of that, but since, but if we win that $50 chip, uh, they'd take everything that we lost, they'd put it back into the playing field. I don't know if you just seen that, but over there on the right, we lost uh, 20 grand to the gutter, so. Yeah, it'd be really, really nice if we could get that back. And a lot of times, uh, 
if other people have been playing this machine today before I got here and they've lost a bunch of stuff to the gutters and nobody has won that $50 chip, then there'll be a bunch of other stuff that uh, other people have lost down there in their uh, loot box. So they could potentially load this thing up with tons of towers. Maybe some mister bags, who knows. And another way we could lose uh, some of the money in this game, if that loot chute reaches a certain point and it gets way too piled up, uh, some of the stuff that's down there will fall inside the machine because there's a little opening area right up above the loot chute. And uh, that money would lead to the exact same place as the gutters on the left and the right. So. Anyway, uh, let's just hope we can win that $50 chip today or something like that. Maybe the $5,000, $10,000 chip or the $10 chip would be nice also. But you know something that I have not seen in there in probably about, oh gosh, probably about three or four months? That dark blue ear button, and that would be worth a... Uh, cash only bonus game. We'd cash that in and they would load the whole entire machine up with cash. Sometimes they'd also put cash on the blue shelves. Then uh, we'd win a five dollar chip or something and they'd let me cash that in. They'd move all that cash to the play field also. But like I said, we have not won that in a long time. It'd be nice to see that return, but I don't know. Not It's not looking too promising. Kind of looks like they uh, discontinued it or something, so I don't know. I will ask the uh, staff whenever I'm cashing out if they discontinued the earbud, the dark blue earbud, and I'll let y'all know what they say tomorrow. Oh yeah, this tower on the left, it just moved forward a tiny bit. Oh yeah, it was a bunch of quarters right there we just got also. But yeah, uh, say there's no special chips in there today, then it would cost uh, $100,000 to have them take all that stuff that's on the blue shelves and then put it into the playing field. So, uh, I mean, 100 grand ain't too bad considering we probably lost like uh, five or six or $700,000. Yeah, we lost a bunch, plus a whole bunch of gold. And uh, speaking of the gold bars, those are worth about two grand an ounce right now or something close to that. You know, I have not checked the spot price of gold in not going to lie, probably about like two or three weeks. So if somebody could let me know what the spot price of one ounce gold bar is down in the comments, I would highly appreciate that. So anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and check out uh, both of these mystery bags right here. Well, I just dropped one of them on the floor. We'll pick that up here in just a second. Anyway, let's go ahead and check this one out. Let's see, what do y'all think's in there? I'm just letting y'all get a sneak peek real quick. Alright, so let's check it out and see what we got. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got a whole bunch of dice, and we got uh, two of the $1 chips, and we also got ten grand in $5,000 chips. Let's check both sides of them. Yeah, there's 5000 on both sides of them, but anyhow, that's ten grand right there. I'll take it. And uh, each one of these $1 chips is worth 500 free quarters. So this is a thousand quarters right here. That is awesome sauce. And we got uh, two of the white dice, two of the gold dice. The gold dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on the gold bars, we'll multiply by those numbers. And the white dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on my winnings, we'll multiply by those numbers. That is absolutely phenomenal. All right, so now it's time to open up the second mystery bag right here. Hopefully this one is loaded up just as good, if not better. Be nice if there was some more uh, special chips in this one. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got a bunch more dice. Let's see how many dice we've won, then we'll get to these uh, chips right here. But anyway, let's see what we got. We got uh, four more of the white dice, another gold dice, and we also got a silver dice. So the silver dice, that would multiply our quarters by whatever it lands on. And check this out. We got three more of the $1 chips, so that is 1,500 more quarters. And we got uh, $15,000 in chips. Well, let's check both sides. Wait a second. Yeah, there's 
this is the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip. It says 10,000 on one side and 5,000 on the other. So this right here is one or more free towers made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips. And I'm pretty sure this is just a regular uh, ten thousand dollar chip. Indeed, it is. So that's an extra ten grand right there. So that is not bad, not bad at all. At least we got one of the special chips today. So anyhow, I think now would be a perfect time to go ahead and turn this in. And I'm not too sure if this comes with a free reset. I know the $10 chip and the $50 chip comes with a free reset. But anyhow, I will ask them whenever I cash this in. So let's go ahead and turn this in and the $1 chips and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Point Brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in uh, that 5,000 slash 10,000 chip. And I also cashed in all five of those uh, one dollar chips that gave me 2,500 more quarters, which is absolutely insane. We're up to about 5,000 quarters now, which is amazing. That's definitely going to be way more than enough uh, quarters to get the whole entire machine cleared out today. And uh, let's see. They built like one enormous tower back there on the pusher made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips. And I'm pretty sure these two towers right here were all the ten thousand dollar chips and the gold bars that we lost to the blue shelf. So anyway, uh, wishing me good luck. Hopefully we can get all this stuff out of here. It's gonna be a miraculous win today, especially from a one million dollar buy-in. Yeah, it might be a pretty long video today, so I'm going to try to edit it down to as little as I can. I know most of y'all like the half an hour long videos, so this is easily going to be half an hour long. I guess, anyway. Just depends on how much of the footage we decide to cut out. So, anyway, if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying this amazing video today... Uh, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Like I've been saying, we're on the road to 150,000 subscribers. And my goal is to get there by February the 1st this year. So uh, be sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's 100% free. doesn't cost you any money at all. And I'm not making any money from it when you subscribe. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a lot more convenient for you all to keep up with the future videos. Because uh, instead of having to go to the YouTube search and searching for my new video, uh, if you have the bell icon turned on after you uh, hit that subscribe button, the bell icon is like right beside of it, you'll get a pop-up on whatever device you're watching my videos on. And it'll say like uh, a and Coin Pressure posted a brand new video or something like that. And uh, you can click on it and it will start... Uh, uh, video in my new game you can you'll be able to watch it so so be sure you're subscribed and have that bell icon enabled like I said it's just more convenient for you all nice well we got that right hand side completely cleared out which is spectacular so now we just got to get this tower on the pusher and the tower on the left hand side over here so anyway, I would like to give a shout out to Coin Pusher. His name is Joe. He does outstanding high limit Coin Pusher videos. And he's super, super good at the one quarter challenges. He does lots of limited quarter games on his channel. So uh, go and check out his channel. I will say this again. It's called uh, Coin Pusher. So go over there and leave him a comment on his video. Let him know that AMV Coin Pusher sent you there. And let's try to get Joe to 150,000 subscribers by uh, February the 1st also. So yeah, go over there to uh, Joe's channel. Check out his uh, recent video. And speaking of that, uh, his recent video will appear at the top left of the screen, like right here, uh, after this video ends. It's not going to appear right now, but here in a few minutes or whenever this game ends uh, you'll be able to click on one of his videos and it will take you right to it so if you've never seen this channel before now would be a pretty good opportunity to go over there and check it out because one of his videos will show up on the end screen of this game right here there's 10 grand uh, $10,000 chip getting pretty close right there in the center 
Nice, we got it. It's awesome. And uh, while you're at it, uh, be sure you hit that thumbs up button. Really, really helps out the video and it shows your appreciation for the video and stuff. And I really reward you all for hitting that like button because the more likes we can get, the better videos we'll do. Nice, there we go. Somebody must have hit that like button. We got that tower of $10,000 chips. Uh, let's see if a uh, thousand people can hit that like button right now and it'll help that tower move. Come on, hit that like button, everybody. Nice couple people are hitting it. Tower just uh, moved forward like a centimeter or two. So let's try to get in total uh, 5,000 likes on this video today. If we can get to 5,000 likes, I would truly appreciate that. And uh, we'll do a very, very special video tomorrow if we can get to 5,000 likes. Maybe a. Uh, 10 million dollar buy-in or something like that I guess we'll see and I mean I guess that just depends on how much money we make today because keep in mind we got to make around half a billion if we're going to break even for the day got to make at least 500 million dollars in profit so that's what we lost earlier on today Well, we still need about 250 locks for this tower to fall down. Oh yeah, about 50 of y'all just hit that lock button. Yeah, tower's teetering back and forth. Nice, there we go. I guarantee you a bunch of people hit the lock button right there. Wow, that is amazing. Alright, it's been an excellent game today so far. So anyhow, uh, let's just try to win all these uh, $10,000 chips out of here. We just got the gold bar on the left. So I'd say that's easily half a million dollars right here. So it's some pretty good money for sure. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd say we're averaging about 50 grand a push, which is excellent for sure. Definitely uh, making out like a bandit today. So anyway, I appreciate everybody watching the videos, uh, hitting that like button, and leaving nice comments. It truly means a lot to me. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all are absolutely amazing, and we couldn't have got this far without each and every one of y'all uh, checking out the videos and subscribing and stuff. So I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And with that being said, uh, leave me some comments down in the comments section and uh, let me know what types of videos you'd want to see this year. You want to see some larger buy-ins, like $100 million buy-ins and stuff, more quarter and cash only games, just uh, let me know down in the comments. Anyway, we got the whole entire machine cleared out today. That is absolutely marvelous. This has been an excellent game today, absolutely excellent. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and call them over here. I think we have won 10 dice in total. We got uh, 6 of the white dice, 3 of the gold dice, and 1 of the silver dice. They'll put all 10 of them dice back there on the pusher. And we got to roll them on down to that lower uh, play field here and whatever they all land on. Now we get to multiply our winnings in their gold and their quarters by those numbers. So let's call them over here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. Uh, they put all 10 of the dice back there on the pusher. So let's go ahead and roll them on down to that lower play field. Hopefully they all end on some fantastic numbers today. So these dice, whatever they land on, determine how big of a profit we're going to make today. I mean, we've already profited, but the dice can turn that little profit into a, a brand new world record win, potentially. So... Well, those dice did pretty good, I guess. We only got, uh, let's see, we only got two ones out of all that, and the ones would not count at all, so. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold and our quarters by all that right there, and I'll let y'all know how much money we've made today from a one, I mean a three million dollar buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely incredible. I ended up winning 23 million 
$735,000. That is the chips and the cash combined. And all the white dice combined totaled up to 19. So I got to multiply my winnings by 19. And in total, I ended up winning $450,000. Nine hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars from a three million dollar buy-in. That is absolutely incredible. That is a massive, humongous, life-changing win today. So that means we're still down a little under fifty million dollars because we lost half a billion earlier. But anyhow, we still got the gold to get to. So on top of that crazy win, we also won one hundred and thirty-two ounces of gold. And all the gold dice totaled up to 10, so I got to multiply the gold by 10. And in total, I ended up winning 1,320 ounces of gold today. And the spot price of gold is like uh, $2,000 an ounce, so that means we got an extra $2,640,000 in gold today. That is remarkable. And last but not least, we ended up winning, I believe it was 4,764 quarters. And that silver dice landed on a four, so we got to multiply the quarters by four. And in total, I ended up winning uh, 19,056 quarters today. So let's divide that by four uh, just to get the dollar amount. That means we got $4,764 in quarters. That is absolutely spectacular. So anyhow, that is not bad. Not bad at all for a $3 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, uh, be sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I post a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out my previous video, yesterday's video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And if you want to check out one of Joe's videos, that will appear at the top left of the screen there. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that will appear right there at the top in the center. So anyway, with that being said, I'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.